Hi friends, this is me Harsi Vihantil. Topic for today is myopia. I will discuss one by one all the refractive errors. Myopia. Myopia is also known as short sightedness. That is, if consider this as an eye, the rays coming from infinity will fall very much in front of the retina. It should always fall on the retina, but here they are focusing in front of the retina. So this is known as uh, myopia or short sightedness. Uh, this can happen due to various reasons. This can be due to increase axial length of the eye or increase curvature of the refractive surface or it can also happen due to position of the lens being pushed anteriorly or refractive index of the lens if it increases then also the converging power increases and the point of convergence uh, is not on the retina but in front of the retina this results in myopia coming to the symptoms which it can re result are now myopia is short sightedness that means the person develops difficulty in seeing far vision for him the far vision is uh, has become a near point so that person need not have to accommodate therefore develops convergence insufficiency due to convergence uh, uh, insufficiency they develop divergent squint divergent squint that is exophoria exophoria or exotropia they may develop coming to the uh, complication uh, not uh, complication let's learn what are the fundus uh, finding fundus sign note this fundus signs are uh, are uh, uh, produced or seen only in uh, pathological myopia pathological myo pathological myopia that is myopia which is more than six diopter Remember, myopia ka sign hamesha minus mein hota hai. M for myopia, M for minus. That is, uh, remember like that, okay. Uh, the, when, myo when there is pathological myopia, there will be fundus changes. Coming to the signs associated with fundus uh, in myopia are, one is temporal myopic crescent. Remember two things about the optic disc. One is temporal myopic crescent and another is tilted optic disc. And coming to the fundus as such, the fundus will be tessellated or tigroid. Tessellated or tigroid fundus. And uh, this fundus will have cracks. What that these are lacquer cracks, lacrimo cracks. Lacrimo cracks are nothing but due to the breach in the brush membrane. Brush membrane may breach hota hai, to lacrimo cracks ho jata hai. Or coming to the optic disc, we have what is known as crescent and the tilted uh, optic disc. Coming to fundus, it is tigroid or tessellated fundus, and uh, we have cracks, lacrimo cracks, and there can be uh, lesions associated with the macula that is positive fudge, positive fudge spots. These are dark red circular patch of the macula. Okay. And there can be lattice de degeneration. And due to all this degeneration happening, there will be weakening of the and thinning of the thinning degradation happening in the eyeball. That will result in staphyloma. Most common is posterior staphyloma. And uh, over the time it can lead to vitreous degeneration. And this vitreous degeneration may over the time can lead to complications uh, like complications like uh, this vitreous degeneration may lead to uh, retinal degen retinal detachment 
and there can be hemorrhages vitreous hemorrhage hemorrhage choroidal neovascularization so now let's uh, summarize the fundus changes that is two things associated with this that is temporal myopic crescent and tilted optic disc and coming to the fund uh, fundus it is tessellated fundus with the cracks lacrimal like cracks and coming to macula we have phosphorus spots and there are degeneration like lattice degeneration that leads to weakening of the wall and leading to posterior staphyloma and there can be vitreous hemorrhage vitreous degeneration choroidal neovascularization and retinal detachment detachment okay and uh, coming to the treatment aspect in myopia the convergence point of convergence is very much in front of the retina now to make it fall on the retina we have to diverge it so what we use is concave lens concave lens that is a minus lens we should use remember m for myopia m for minus m for myopia m for minus and coming to surgery surgical aspect we can uh, do with eczema laser most common is uh, most common eczema laser used is argon fluoride argon fluoride uh, use uh, uses the principle of photo photoablation we can uh, do prk methods uh, to correct myopia is prk lasix c lasix other methods include relax remember relax and smile relax is uh, refractory lenticulate extraction lenticular extraction and we can uh, and there is something called fake refractive lens uh, or re refractive lens exchange with clear lens extraction that is fake refractive lens uh, fake refractive lens means the person has a fake fake yeah, that is lens and uh, there is a correction with another refractive lens another method is refractive lens exchange with clear lens extraction that is uh, here the refractive lens is exchanged that is we are going to remove the clear uh, lens of the patient and we are going to insert another refractive lens but in fake refractive lens we are just making everything like uh, even the patient uh, lens is present and we are rip and we are placing another refractive lens to correct myopia and relix is a is a thing in which there is refractive lenticular extraction this is all about myopia thank you friends hope this video helps you keep studying keep learning all the best bye bye hi friends uh, let us continue with our next refractive error that is hypermetropia hypermetropia is also known as long sightedness that is here consider this as an eyeball the rays coming from infinity instead of converging in uh, on the retina it will converge far beyond the retina this is known as hypermetropia this can be due to either small eyeball that is uh, decreased uh, axial length or it can be due to decreased uh, curvature decreased curvature may leads to decreased converging of the point so that uh, it is focused uh, far beyond the retina okay and it can be due to posterior positioning posterior position of lens or it can be due to decrease in the refractive error refractive index of lens this can be the various method which can uh, result in long sightedness or hypermetropia uh, to correct hypermetropia we should always give 
plus lenses that is convex lenses convex lenses always helps you to converge more here the rays are not converging on retina instead it is converging on far point so to make it converge more we are going to use plus lenses also known as convex lenses remember as uh, in hypermetropia eyeball size decreases size decreases curvature decreases and refractive index increase uh, decreases and uh, this results in hypermetropia hypermetropia treatment of this is uh, by giving uh, something which will increase the converging power that is plus lenses